Hi guys, a um, little video here. I've got this 1980 Sharp microwave oven for repair. Um, as soon as you put it on the cook cycle, it blows the internal fuse. Um, I've actually looked at it's a magnetron that's faulty, um, but this is a 1980s microwave and it's not going to be worth putting a brand new magnetron in. So I'll just show you a little diagnostic tip on the magnetron and then uh, we'll, I'll show you a workaround where you can actually repair the magnetron and um, it's going to um, save um, putting a brand new one in which is going to cost way more than the microwave's worth. Right, so here we've got the magnetron out. Um, now one of the tests you want to do is to take your <coughs> meter, put a wire on the earth and then the other wire from your meter is touch it here in the filament terminal see what happens. Now if you can see in the meter there um, we've got a reading of about, ooh, what is it, about 40 ohms. Um, now that indicates that the filament terminal here is faulty. We've got a 40 ohm leak between the body and um, the filament terminal itself. Now what a lot of people don't realise is this filament terminal is actually two 350 PF capacitors. And with a couple of chokes inside, it actually forms a pie filter and it stops interference um, generated in the magnetron getting back onto the mains. Now a lot of people don't realise this is actually a feed, it's 2 times 350 PF feed through capacitor. So if we look at the manual, um, the sharp, if we take um, one out of here um, and that's the picture of the magnetron. It's not very clear, you can see the two chokes and you can see the two terminals but it's not actually that clear, that is a capacitor. So if we just swap to a, a manufacturer attach you with a different diagram and I'll show you. Right, this is um, a service manual for Hitachi microwave oven. Now if you take a look at the magnetron there, the two chokes are clearly marked and also the filament terminals there you can see there's two capacitors built in to the actual terminal, terminal itself. Now it's one of these capacitors that goes leaky. Um, the value varies between about 350pf to 500pf. Right, so what a lot of people don't realise is the filament terminal with the two built-in feed-through capacitors. Um, you can actually buy these on their own. Um, now it takes a little bit to fit because you've got to get the, the top off the magnetron. Um, you've got to, um, because these are riveted in, you're going to have to put four nuts and bolts in these holes um, and solder the wires on. But this feed-through capacitor is actually a replaceable part. Now I've set one up on media analyzer here. So if we just press the button and we can see the actual capacitance. Here we go. So that's 350 PF. Now there's two capacitors in here, one on each side. It's 350 PF per pole. So as you can see, that is a good one. And well, it's brand new. And that there, uh, one of these poles has a leak to ground. So we're going to pop the top off and just change that. Right, so that's the top off. I've just slid the top off the magnetron. And um, you can see the. Um, the filament terminal there is actually riveted so what we're going to do is we're going to use them holes uh, them four holes and put four nuts and bolts in and uh, you can see the two um, chokes there right just give me a minute right okay so that's the new filament terminal in the magnetron um, if you look there you can see the four nuts and bolts where I fastened it in um, put the multimeter on there and just try the terminals as you can see there's no leakage there at all now and um, that's the old one I've taken out if we put um, contact on there like I say it's, these are two times 350 PF capacitors so it's only going to be it's only going to be one side that's gone leaky uh, if we try that one first no reading there try that one See, that's the one that's gone leaky. Just the one of them. So there you go. That's uh, that saved um, 
a more than 20 year old microwave from the skip and uh, just got to put the magnetron in now uh, check it for leakage make sure everything's okay and we're good to go right so here we go the magnetron's back in uh, we've got a cup of water in just turn around that you can see the screws where the new filament terminal is bolted in um, I'm not sure why the customer's got this stuck over um, because if you look behind you can actually see the display um, I don't know what that's for but anyway let's start it off and um, let's see where we go start there we go and um, essential with microwaves whenever you repair the microwave always do a leakage test so there we've got uh, absolutely zero um, RF leakage And there you go, that's how to mend um, a magnetron when the filament terminals have uh, gone leaky. Okay guys, thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel for some more. There we go. Put a tea bag in there now. Can I have a cup of tea with that?